A critical approach to food crisis response in countries like Nigeria could aid existing supports for agriculture development. This one part of the Global Food Policy Report of the National Food Policy Research Institute, which was unveiled in Abuja. Lara Falayo has details. 2022 saw food system disruptions, natural disasters, civil unrest, political instability and impacts of climate change. Developments indicating a need to better respond and prepare for crisis. It's a very complex country. At this gathering, the International Food Policy Research Institute's Global Food Policy Report with the theme, Rethinking Food Crisis Responses, is being unveiled. <laughs> Findings from it show a critical approach to food crisis response in countries like Nigeria could aid existing support for the culture development. This is a really important issue. Now we see that this is exacerbated by issues such as conflict, insecurity and weather shocks. And what we would like to emphasize with this report is that there is a need for evidence generation on these issues globally, but more specifically for Nigeria to inform decision making. Um, for me, this event was an opportunity to join together to talk about the challenges facing Nigeria and facing Sub-Saharan Africa as a whole, as well as to talk about what are the solutions and how can we pave a pathway forward uh, out of these challenges with partners in order to find solutions that can reduce poverty, reduce hunger, uh, promote gender equality. The Food Policy Research Institute on its part seeks to generate evidence for effective policies promoting social and gender equity, climate resilience, and peace building in targeted settings. Researchers are as well advised to better align efforts with agriculture authorities for greater impact. Um, WFP has expanded uh, its role as a model player in domestic food markets in Nigeria, purchasing over 83,000 metric tons of locally grown food this is all of the humanitarian assistance that we provide in Nigeria. All of it is purchased locally here in Nigeria. And it also includes 20% from, which is sourced from smallholder farmers, some of whom are affected by, by the conflict. The Global Food Policy Report provides critical evidence to support effective policies to boost food, water and land resilience in, in fragile and conflict riddled nations as well as those with migration issues. Lara Folayo, CBC News, Abuja.